Hey guys, Proper English here. One of the major features of my graphics processor is the ability to render images. And so we're going to be able to render boxes, lines, circles, and ellipses. Today we're going to look at the box render. So let's get started. All right, so today we're going to focus in on some of the features of this box drawer and not worry about how it works. We'll cover how it works in a separate video, but for today, just the features. And so one of the coolest features, in my opinion, is we only need to know two corners to draw the whole box. Normally you'd need to know all four, but because of how we're drawing it, we only need to know two. And so we've got an X over here and a Y over here. These are X, Y coordinates. Then we've got another X down here and another Y over here. Those are our two points. And these are all in binary. We're running them through decoders and that plots the points on a grid. And so let's try entering some data. We'll enter a six over here, so we turn two on, and we turn a four on. So that's a six, two plus four. And then over here, we'll enter a five. So four and one is five. Now down for our second point, let's enter a one over here, and we'll enter a two over here. So we're just turning one on over here and just two over here. And right now, nothing is being rendered until I fly up and turn off some control so we can watch this thing roll. Let's go for it. And there we go. This is our box. Pretty cool. The rendering process is pretty cool. And what we're actually doing is we're using our two corners to find the other two corners. They send out probes, and when the probes intersect, it says, these are our other corners and it sends out probes to find the original corners. So that's how this thing works. We'll worry about how we do that in another video. And so we've got one more feature that is pretty sweet. So I've got a no fill lever over here and a fill lever over here. So if I turn this guy off and turn this guy on, we can see that we get a filled box. Same thing except now we're filling the whole thing up and there we go. We've got a cool way of drawing boxes with only two corners and we can have an empty box or a full box. Now there's one more thing that I want to show you so let's check that out. If this box drawer looked familiar to you it's because it's very similar to an old design except this design does not use any pistons it's 100% solid state and that means that it will never break and so I've rendered a box and I'm going to send in one more point let's watch what happens. This can go crazy because now we're getting all of these signals going all over the place. You're going to see lots of flashing. It's probably going to lag a bit. But because this is solid state, it's not going to break. And we actually simply render a new box. And that is pretty cool because stability is going to be key in the GPU. And that's why I'm doing everything, everything that I can without pistons. If I need pistons, I'm going to use them. But if I can do it without them, I'm not going to use them because I don't want it to break, right? So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time.